Hey, hello, it's the Broke Game Girl, and this is Level Up. We are hopefully finishing Night in the Woods today. I'm so excited. I got a little break for myself. I ate a donut. I relaxed a little. I caught my breath. I processed some of the feelings that I've had over the past couple of Night in the Woods episodes, and I think I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go forward. I'm ready to end this game. I, I, am, I feel so bad for May. She is, like, terribly injured. She's gotten her friends into a ton of trouble. I think she has resigned to die. At least that's what this feels like. She's going out in the woods. Oh, there he is. There's the creepy dude thing. What are you? That's what exactly I was saying. What are you? Are you actually a ghost or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Fine, let's do this. You gonna hit it with a baseball bat? <gasps> what? Oh my god! Greg! Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ah, you effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her. Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I am gonna... Whoa, Greg. That's quite some language you got there, buddy. Ah, Aru. You okay, dude? Where did... Oh, I didn't check the other option. Hey, jerk, why the hell are you out here by yourself? I had a dream, or this is all because of me. Oh, yeah, dude, all your fault. You definitely made those dudes creep around, following us and, like, kidnapping someone, maybe. Yeah, you did it with your effing mind control powers. Dude, come off it. He, it's, it's in my dreams. Dude, dude, you don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's, I don't get everything's going on with you, and I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not going to do that to me, okay? But dude, I, uh, or, okay, let's resign it. Okay. We've been friend, best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you. Come on. And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. You all wait here, I'll go. You all wait here, I'll go. Mm. Huh. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. You can walk, May? Can you walk, May? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. <laughs> wow. I wonder if there's, like, other options where you don't have everyone with you because you could have spent all of your time with B, or you could have spent all of your time with, with Greg, but I split my time among all of them. Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Ah, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. I have to go down in there. He, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well, then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang! It's mortal. It can get shot. So that's a thing. You know, like in Superman versus Batman, Batman versus Superman, whichever direction that goes. 
and then Superman Bleeds, or like N300, that other movie by the same di uh, director, when uh, d d Xerxes, and he, then he bleeds. So, you know, mortal. Mortal is a thing. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. <laughs> nah, dude, we created a legend. <laughs> What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. Are they gonna recap like everything that we've done? Just headed down into the mines. Like it's no big deal. Ooh, a lever! I wanna pull it. Let's pull the lever. Clearly we have to. We have to. No, we don't get to. Aw, boo. I thought I was gonna get to pull a lever. That was gonna be fun. Um, looks like you took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, mate. You sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <clears throat> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I I don't know what's gonna happen down there. All right then. We go down to down. We go to get. Angus got the lever. I got the hiccups. Ugh. That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Alright, everybody on the elevator. Now, how do we make it go down? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Oh man, I love slow elevator rides. Gives you a real good time to talk. Well, here we are. <coughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy, but thanks. Shh heard something down there you gonna be okay may yeah i'm all right we should be quiet yeah we'll be silent terrors we'll be ghosts oh now we can move again why are we here this is a terrible idea may this was a very very bad idea we are going very deep in the mine And there's only one way of escaping. It's far. I mean, you're pretty much killing all of your friends at this point. They should have let you go alone. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> that was important that we stopped for that. I don't know if you knew, but it was very important that we stopped for that. Oh, what's gonna happen? Is the creeper even down here? There's benches. It kind of looks like. There's a pentagram. You see it? I see it. Oh, creepy. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And, like, junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Oh. It's getting dark. There's some Illuminati stuff going on. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, and now let's walk into this, you know, this area of pure darkness. This seems safe. It's okay, I'll know where we are based on B's cigarette. I know you're in here. Can't walk anymore. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, no, they were being helpful, I think. 
There they are! They're right there! I'm gonna get them! Edie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He... he shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got sh Little girl got shot out- Oh, sorry, I- This is the leader's voice again. Little girl got shot out the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? <laughs> Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors! Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Hmm? Hmm? Wait, do you think that Edie... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl... You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh god. I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. Was Ed Scooter and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Bridal. Brittle. Bridal. Brittle. Vest Shoemaker. Last soup. Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned shoot long before any of us abandoned shoot long before any of us were born, too close to water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing, but that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging, practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper, till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place, and Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in dreams and in waking times. Schwat brought you down. Swat brought you down here. What? What is it? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You've got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Oh no, they're Trump supporters. While well, we worked ourselves to death. Oh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scooter came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? One he, one he takes a shine and two. Rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay, after Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, now only the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. 
We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole? <gasps> They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. So every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. What was that you were doing the other night? Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules, and they had to pay up. It was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been, oh God, oh no. Casey, the Hartley kid. He was gonna contribute, all he was gonna contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. Was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't, you, we don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded, and they had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor. Oh, God. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. Greg. He was my friend. <laughs> All right now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. Hehe. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, I... Throw down, throw down, son. Don't make this our time. Craig. Ugh, oh, dang it. No, your crossbow. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. Are you dreaming, May? We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puff in smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what was, what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family. Brought, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. <clears throat> Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. Oh, that was me. Shapes. Oh, I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old, and even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we are gone. Really? You're like, pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially, like, or is this some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify? In an abandoned mine behind a locked gate? And an elevator that won't run? And you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, 
You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. What? I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, seriously, let's get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. Aww. My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we going to do? We'll crack that one when we are far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. I did not push a button. That seriously, like, just flashed and then was gone. So, now what? Night in the woods. What, what more do you have for me? Okay. I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which was what had happened, like, a long time ago, or how they remember or, like, picture it, and it gave them... So... And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What is it? What? Shh. I thought I... Oh, what? What? What's happening? See. Oh, what's what is happening? What? What is going on? What the crap was that? What? Holy god. Is everyone okay? May! May! Oh, May, say something! <laughs> They're laughing now! Why are we laughing? Ha! <laughs> Sniff! Sob! Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So, how are we getting out of here? Shh. Let May rest. There's no light. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. 
That was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. So, you're gonna grab it. Aw, friends for help. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers can or death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Okay. Look at me, I can run again. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one foot of water. Right. They're just letting me go. They're not- <gasps> Oh no! I fell in the spring. What? I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again and I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing. <laughs> Whoa, alien speak. That's a cool font. You know I can't understand you, right? That's what that says. Oh, shut up already. I know we won't, this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not, it's gonna spit her back out. May, dude, you okay? Whoa, you got all sleepwalky there for a sec. Can we carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to, we're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Oh, that he can smell light? I don't know if that's necessarily something that you can do. Oh, is this the bottom of the hole? What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. It looks old enough, at least. Huh? Brochure. Hello, we're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. Uh, I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah, you up for this? Yeah. Yeah, we are. We can make it out. I don't know. I'm all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like... When your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> you mean endorphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Oh, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Oh, I see it now. Here, and then here, and then here, 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 
up and up and up some more. I think I can hit the light blue ones and the kind of palish blue ones. Oh, this is easy. This is easy peasy. Yeah. Wonder where we're gonna end up. Oh, it's that well! Am I still... Can I jump out of it? Hello? Oh! Yeah, she looks tired. My friends are down the well. Hello? This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. Heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Okay. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Well, was that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What's he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods. Please. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite? What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> what? Not enough questions asked about Germ in this game. <laughs> there goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Okay. <laughs> it strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense, I guess, but we did cause the death of, like, a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. What? Uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Oh, I don't even have to push a button. Look at that, it just walks all on its own. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen. But I guess you can, like, connect things or connect to things. Sometimes you need to be... You, sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. 
Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want all- I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ buddy? Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Mm. Oh shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was a really cute ending. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Is there more? Oh my goodness, is there more? <laughs> I mean, I have a loading screen. Would you have a loading screen just for credits roll? <gasps> what is this? Let's get out of bed. What's happening? Is it my birthday? Oh, please let it be my birthday. Oh, we're gonna check our laptop and see what the responses are. Oh, let's see. Let's start with B. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me since <laughs> informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Oh, God, they gotta embarrass me one more time. Let's talk to Angus next. Oh, hey, message. It's good, to, it's good to be alive this morning. That's all. And Greg. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Fan practice today, because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hi. Hey, Sharkle. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this has been an experience. Oh, man. This, this game actually deals with, like, a lot of different issues and a lot of... Oh, wow. Look, epilogue. Stars. This is it. This is the end. We're here. We've done it. I gotta play a music thing, I think. God, why do they make me do this? Oh, can I get in the crawl space yet? Is there space? Nope. Never made it through the crawl space. Never got to see the mysteries that were there. Maybe in another time, another playthrough. One that's not online, so I can take my time and really explore everything. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Okay. Is it both of you for once? Nope, just mom. Let's talk to mom. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, mom. I, you're an adult. You can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because, honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I, I, I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school? What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. Can we talk about it then? Sure. We can just we can make breakfast for dinner just like we used to. 
And Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Aw, look at us repairing our relationships. I mean, like, technically, since we killed all those people, shouldn't that be enough sacrifices for a while now? Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was Angus's voice. I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything I can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while, but here. Listen, I'm gonna be around for dinner tonight. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we can make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff, too. Just one big stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. Love you, Dad. Love you, too. Be back later. All right, we are off to the Snack Falcon for one more band practice. This episode has gotten so long. But you know what? That's fine. This is one Uber episode. I'll probably just, like, upload this on the weekend. And, you know, it's a special edition. Level up special edition. That's what's happening right now. Cause I don't wanna stop. This it's it's really grabbed me in the past few hours of this game. Oh, I could have I could have broken this into three episodes though. Oh my god. At least three. Oh jump squirrel like me. Okay. Hey, this guy! Let's talk to this guy. Hey, it's you! Yup, yup. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha <laughs> ha. Wheeze. Ha ha ha. Oh, boy. Wait. How do you know my name? What? What? Oh, my gosh. This game... This game is going on so long! <gasps> taco Buck! Holy crap! Uh, ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to the town since! Whoa! We got internet! <laughs> we, they got rid of all those snakes in the diner! I'm gonna go with we got internet because I know how good it feels 
to get internet. I've been two weeks without it. We finally just got it back. It feels damn good. We're still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind here. Takes you three days to torrent a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF or GIF, depending on how you pronounce it. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Certainly does. Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. <laughs> oh, and they're hiring. So, you're a taco dude now, huh? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There in the snow, in the s there is snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos? Good, I like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. I thought maybe she was gonna get a job. That'd be a good job for May since she enjoys tacos so very much. Into the snack falcon we go. Is the snack falcon closer? Wait, wait, wait. It's still snack to school? It's winter. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's live and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Band practice? You want to get out of here? Do brand, brand practice? Band practice. Yes. Let's fail horribly at this. I gotta turn up the volume on my end so I can hear what's going on in this song and I can, like, do it. Oh, gosh. Gee, geez, that door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. Ah, uh, I hate winter. Winter's good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those VFW hall shows in Fort Lucene. Oh wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yup. So, uh, yeah, okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm. Suspicious. Do you guys think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get what even happened down there with you and the whatever that was. The murder cult of dads? The cosmic horror? <laughs> you mean Cthulhu? Did we encounter Cthulhu and I was not aware? Um, let's go with murder cult of dads. Sure. I kind of get them. Really? No. Yes. I don't know. It's like a porch light that's on and there are all these bugs around it and then the light goes out and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Yup. It's gonna be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean, you've already been gone. You've been gone at least once since you got back. At least. I died a little getting that battery the other day. See? You're a goner. Like, last night? It feels... Sometimes, like, there's an, so much horrible past, and it's still here. Like, you're, like, swimming in it. And you can't have a future. Nah, brah. Nah, brah? That's it? What was our biggest crime ever? <laughs> um, bringing a horrible robot son into the world? But I think, actually, this is, this is, a, real, this is a real crime. That was like our high school high point. Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. That was self-defense. All of that stuff, like 
Today's different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change. I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods. Gonna be different because we were all here. That's something. Something, something, something. Hmm. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them he's in a bottomless hole, in a tunnel, in the woods, with a bunch of guys who are gonna be dead soon? Oh, this is like the morally hardest question, because like, do we give them closure? Awful confusing closure? Or do we let them just be in the dark and have it naturally peter out the way that missing cases that don't get solved sometimes do? Um, shit. We should tell them. Okay. We gotta figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know at least. Makes it mean something. I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Oh, that's the garage door again. It's Angus! Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How is work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. Gotta do stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? <gasps> huh? Uh. Um. I thought you couldn't leave home. Uh, you guys are home enough. Hmm. Uh. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude. That'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night, like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. And here's B. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hmm. Well? Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Ugh, don't ask me. Can't we just, like, play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow? I had a dream that the world was ending. Song and pizza. All right. Sweet. It does, dude. What? Answering your question like two minutes ago? What question? What were we even talking about? I don't remember. What? You're gonna leave it there? What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. That's so real life. This was a great game. Like, touched on a lot of hard-hitting subjects, had political overtones to it. It was really, really good. I am so impressed. I'm gonna turn down the volume on the TV a little bit, because you're already getting volume in the game sound. Um, but I... oh. I feel like I'm gonna need a little while to process everything that happened to the end. I... so... As far as I can tell... No one is dead except for all of the creepy people who were the cultists in the mine, right? But there are so many unanswered questions, like, what is that thing? What was Bee's dream about? Oh my god, like... I, I, need, I need other people to talk to me about this that have played this game so that I can, I can start processing all of this information in my head. So, you know what? Do me a favor. Leave what you think happened in the comments and maybe we can have a nice discussion about it and bring up some new ideas and maybe you'll bring ideas that I haven't thought about or notice some things that I failed to notice. So, um, leave me, <laughs> leave me a comment. Talk to me. I would love to have a discussion about this game because I, it's, 
there's just so much to it. And I can't get it all out on this video because I'm already like an hour deep into this. So I don't want to take up any more of your time, but if you have a second, talk to me about Night in the Woods. I would love to have a discussion about it. Maybe I can do a live discussion about it and actually like have my face cam up for that and everything. You guys can see my new studio, which is getting there. I'm still waiting on the couch to get delivered, but everything else is in place. Um, but for now, I'm going to sign out. I'm going to take a break, um, think about things for a while. And uh, next time on Level Up, we'll be playing a brand new game. So I'll see you guys then. It was great having this experience with you. Okay, do the things. Oh, Sharkle! Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, that does it for this episode of Level Up. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know in the comments section, or hit me up on social media with the links in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos, extras, and updates. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time on Level Up. Bye! Oh, this is such a good game.